Hi everybody. So yesterday, yeah it was yesterday, <laughs> uh, Richard asked if someone had an idea what this whole construct would look like and if someone had the artistic talent to put onto paper. So I've cobbled together a little crude drawing as when he put forth the request I simply asked for a schematic uh, from well through my heart and this is what what has came through so it came through in two different views we have a top view and we have a side view <laughs> so let me start with the top view because as you can see some information was transmitted along with with the drawings hello kitty hello hey you mm -hmm. So here, with the top view, we of course have Ed here in the center, and so he's on this big, big cog here, and of course there's different layers to it. Of course, you know, this is just a crude drawing, yet it's all interconnected, kind of, you know, think like clockwork, it really is like that. So here's Ed, uh, here's the portal that takes us out of the abyss, whatever this realm may be. Uh, this is also the firewall that uh, pr keeps Ed from view our, the visible sun. And uh, I'm just hearing now that this is also where we have just pierced today. Uh, I've been seeing a few photos up where it you know, it, it just shows like a wing or something that they have labeled as Earth. Uh, what they're telling me is that it, we've just passed through through that that firewall. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> I cannot even put into words the joy that that I'm feeling right now. It's way way awesome. <laughs> And so we have these different gears here and so you can see maybe okay there we go so there's like little little holes inside of each of the cogs and those are where the poles insert so those are the uh, the female parts where the poles come in and be the male plug at least at the bottom of it and in one of the cogs, there is a place in the center that is where Earth used to be on its pole. And for the most part, what they told me was that it was in, they intended it to be stationary so that uh, each of the different vase, the planets, whatever name you want to give for them, uh, could uh, easily keep the planet in a quarantine status. And so each of these little insertion points can, at will, go to the different cogs to take up a different defensive position or uh, as, you know, this is where uh, astrology, uh, the, that, that whole uh, science comes into play is that, you know, we have Saturn, which they tell me is the, the primary uh, CPU for the, the computer matrix that we are currently inhabiting. And the different planets, while not directly processing it, are each projecting a different aspect of of the matrix into it. And so that's where all these astrological influences come from, which, of course, I got the idea for the zodiac time key, which surrounds this whole realm, which, of course, you know, at certain times opens up certain portals that go into the other parts of, of space, uh, into the other heavenly realms, rather than just being in the abyss or in the pit. 
And so what they had me right here is that while Earth was intended to be uh, in a stationary place for better safekeeping, it could, its pole could be put into the cog system and shifted around to other locations as needed if the, the need arose. Obviously, they were not able to implement that before the conclusion of, of the war of our, our allies making their way here. Okay, and so, uh, and another cog somewhere, so they tell me there's at least, at least 10 of these cogs, you know, they're on different levels, not necessarily all one plane, so, you know, we're talking a plane of sight, and different layers on it, uh, Saturn was in another one of these fixed locations that, again, if the need arose, could could move it would just if if they did move Saturn it would have caused a lot of glitches in the matrix as the energy being projected from Saturn at Earth uh, would need time to adjust and catch up to the the new location and different uh, bandwidth requirements for the energy transmission etc etc Okay, so let's move on to the side view. So here we see Ed safely, quote unquote, <laughs> behind uh, his firewall, safely out of sight. And of course we know he is destroyed at this point. Here is the portal home. And this is the firewall. So. Uh, as many of the Seshi videos or the other website, I don't recall it off the top of my head, you know, it, it just, you know, especially showing the mob coming in, you know, it would have that, that concave part there. And in the Lies That NASA Told video, Rose mentioned that was actually the sun, and it's actually concave like that. And it's meant to reflect back, refract back. Uh, any line of sight so that the true nature of, of the sun, the visible portions, this portal, uh, would not be so easily recognized. Uh, also, it also serves as an amplification for the different vods sending their astrological mumbo jumbo at, at Earth. So here we see Earth on its pole and you know, it's fi I find it interesting that you know we're seeing these pictures of Earth in flight mode. Uh, when I drew this, it it was drawn in its horizontal position, and I was like, well, no, we're, we're I'm, my intention was to you know show what Earth was like on on the poles, and <laughs> I tried to erase it, and this is what happened. It, it was meant to as an indication that we are in fact horizontal at this moment. And so Earth is there in in this cog, and of course you know there's different layers going down uh, of these different cogs, so that you know the the various different vods planets. You know there are more than uh, eight different ones that that we're told of anyway. Uh, you know all circulating around and just doing what what they were doing. And so here is a representation of one of them. And so when I originally drew this, it's just like a half circle with a flat plane, mountains, all that, and then a dome overhead. Whereas the vase seem to have like a triangular base that sits on top of the pole. And so again, they just rotate around as Ed does whatever he does. And if they have to, they can just hop onto different cogs, go where they need to go. Uh, again, to either alter the frequency that they're sending as their astrological signature, as a defense, da 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 da. Okay. So what they're telling me is a few, what, maybe it was a few months ago, a month ago, something like that. I don't know, it all blends together. Uh, there was pictures showing that Venus was in this, this pincher, uh, you know, two different spheres uh, just kind of holding in place. And what they were just telling me was that the, the 
the act of doing that prevented Venus or Mercury. Uh, I think that was another one that was uh, caught in those pincer attacks were uh, unable to move their poles onto different cogs and and so in that way it also negated what they were pro they were projecting as part of the astrological construct that they hijacked when they shut down and altered the uh, zodiac time key that that make up the different constellations that make up uh, like the Gemini, the Taurus, uh, all of that, all of that. Uh, this is also where we see the star field uh, surrounding everything. Uh, and of course we know that, okay, wow. So what they're telling me is that the uh, the star field is like the like the sky dome. It's another holographic projector field. Uh, so if someone did happen to escape uh, the Earth Dome, they would just simply run into the holodeck wall and they would be recaptured and likely killed or whatever uh, for escaping, whatever. Okay, so they want me to read what is right here. Gears that rotate, giving enemy Va easy access to maintain their hold on Earth. The insertion points can transfer between the gears at will. The gears surround Ed. There are at least ten in this construct. Each one has has numerous Vas. Beyond the eight they told us about. Uh, think asteroids and more. So the asteroids themselves are also Vas. Although Saturn is the main generator slash processor of the matrix, each Va has its own input. So again, you know, that's how how, you know, the whole astrological thing uh, affects us. Or at least it used to. They don't exist anymore. Mm. So yeah, uh, that's what I got. Uh, it's pretty mind blowing just how intricate all of this is, and I'm sure you know there is more information about this. this. Is simply what I've received at this moment, and I hope that you gain greater clarity and better able to visualize visualize this area not that it really matters for too much longer yet yeah, it is it is fun to marvel at just <laughs> just the enormity of what what it is that we are stuck in so thank you for watching i hope you are having a beautiful day or night wherever you may be i love you and we will talk again soon